Hi, Extreme Home Arcade owners, uh, potential owners. Uh, my name is Leonard. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on making a um, updated favorites list for for our main wheel. And um, this tutorial is more tailored towards those who have an active marquee. So this marquee here displays all the arcade marquees for all the current games that you're playing. Um, not every game has a detailed marquee, some are generic, but what I'm trying to do is filter for those that have the um, arcade artwork because I just want to see those. All right, let's get started. Okay, everyone, so we're going to be on the back end, so we're going to be working with some folders here. Uh, we're going to start with D drive. Then we're going to go to arcade. Next, we're going to go to Databases. Right here. And then we're going to look at MAME. Alright. Okay, so you notice that there are a couple list here um, but you'll notice that there are no favorites lists see right here go straight to fighter xml um, i never created a favorites list but um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to expedite the process of, of having to go through every single game in the main wheel and um, i'm looking for games that just have again the art the detailed artwork uh, i'm going to create a favorites list that has just that type um, those type of games. All right, so um, when you create the favorites list, it's gonna end up in this folder, okay? So just keep that in mind. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Arcade. And then we're gonna go to Media. So we're on media, and then we are going to go to marquees. And then we're gonna go to MAME. So if you notice here, this is going to be the folder that has all the detailed artwork for all the games in MAME. Um, not all the games are on here, but this will have the detailed artwork. For example, see, I'm going to have this be displayed up on the top. All right. So we're worried about the artwork itself. If you want to make your own um, favorites list that doesn't have all the generics you may have to do it manually or just um, do that after the fact but this is just for the artwork um, what I'm gonna do go ahead and select all and you want to deselect the first marquees list here because it doesn't have the complete list of all the artwork um, I think it goes up to about um, 900 games um, but I'll show you an I'll show you what why I'm searching or why I'm selecting all the files here. One second. So we're going to deselect the top option, which says marquee list text document. Now we are going to um, copy this, but not the files. We are going to copy path. Uh, because we have to open up these in another program. Um, it's already installed on here, and that program is Notepad Plus. Um, I think it says Notepad Plus Plus. Oh, one second here. All right, so you'll not see here it says Notepad Plus Plus. 
we're gonna open up that and we're gonna paste that here. Okay, one moment. So you see every image that I had in the media folder for Marquis, paste of the file path here. We're gonna do a couple filtering. Um, all right, so let's start from the top. So, if you see here the details, they have every single game that has a detailed marquee here. Uh, what we want to do is we just want to get this portion this portion of that file name because it's going to appear in your favorites list. So we have to do a couple um, things here first. Um, what you want to do is you want to highlight this here. It says quotation, D drive, uh, marquee, media, marquees, mame, slash. Up until that slash, we're going to um, copy. So copy that. Next, we are going to search. We're going to go to find, and then you're going to go to find in files. Make sure that path is there because we're going to mark it. So go to the next tab and you'll see that we're trying to search for this for every single file. We're going to mark all, and you'll see how it's highlighted. We have to delete these. Um, in Notepad, it doesn't allow you to mass delete that way. You have to replace it with a blank field. So you see here, it says replace. I'm gonna leave that blank. We're gonna replace all with, with that. So it's gonna be a blank after you select it, okay? Bam. So we took that portion out. And you'll see here that there are still file extensions. So we have PNG, JPG. Uh, we have to do each one individually. So we're gonna do the next one to .png. Um, you want to go back to find in files, change that to .png quotation. Just like that, you want to go to mark, mark all. So we're going to get rid of that extension, go back to replace. Again, we're going to replace it all with this blank, replace all. And you'll notice we got rid of all PNG extensions. We're going to do the exact with JPG. Go back to find in files, change that to .jpg quotation. Just like that. Go back to mark, mark all. It's highlighted. Go to replace, replace all. and then close. Okay, so we're gonna review this. Because I tried it a couple times before and it didn't take for all the files, so we're gonna scroll through all of them, okay? Second here. See if you notice here, some of the paths didn't take. So we're gonna have to repeat the process for a few more files, so we're gonna copy that D drive extension again. We're going to go to search, find, find in files, make sure that there, click on mark, mark all. Okay. I'm not sure if it could only take a, uh, a max number of um, searches in this batch, but we're going to do the exact same process. 
go back to replace, replace all. There you go. So we deleted that portion. You have to do it again with PNG and JPG. So we're going to go back to find files, repeat the process for .png and .jpg. And I'll let you know in a doubt. We'll come back one moment. Okay, so after repeating the process a couple times, um, I'm, I find myself with these files. If you notice, the extension is deleted. The PNG and JPEG extensions are deleted. And then we're just gonna scroll through for any ones that have gone untagged. So if you see here, you'll, you'll see how there's a couple names, Asteroid, they're duplicates. Um, it will, this is the name of the game. This may have been a uh, duplicate image or marquee or an alternate marquee. You'll notice it has the same thing for these. I'm just gonna leave them um, just because it has the base name of the game. For the majority, I'd say about 99% of them. See if you see here, uh, there's a couple. Some may be misspelled. Um, you can always go back to those later. But see, a couple alts. So Metal Slug 4 has several marquees. Same thing with Metal Slug 5, Metal Slug X. Um, so. I mean, it's up to you whether or not you want to keep them because there's multiple images. Um, Puckman, see there's one Puckman already. Some file extensions haven't been deleted. Um, so that means there's four images for one game. So you could decide whether or not you want to keep them. But I'm pretty happy with what I have now. And then you'll see it goes all the way from A to Z, all right? So what you want to do, you want to copy this. Oh. Um, select all. We're going to do copy. Uh, we have to copy this in not a notepad, but you have to copy it. Uh, I'm not notepad plus, but just regular notepad. So we're going to go to normal notepad. Notepad. And then you just want to paste that here. All right. So if you'll see here, it has every, every game that corresponds with an image marquee to be displayed on your active marquee, okay? So after that, we're gonna go file, save as, and then you want to save it in arcade. So we're gonna go to arcade, databases and then you want to go to main and then you want to save this as favorites and it's going to be a text file okay Favorites, text, and then save. All right, so, and we're gonna test this to see if it works. Um, so we're gonna close out of this. You don't have to save that. We're gonna close this file here, your images. And then I still have Hyperspin running. We're gonna click back into here. Now, we're gonna go back to our, our 
arcade wheel. Okay, so I never had a favorites list set up, but if you click on your favorites button, view favorite games, you notice that every single game that corresponds with the marquee image will show up on your active marquee. So, I mean, I didn't know about this. Um, I literally, when I first got the machine, I went through every, pretty much every game here. It took, it took maybe four or five days for a couple hours um, to save them. But if you notice now, every game that's in your library that corresponds with a um, imaged marquee, it will show up on your marquee. And you could test it. I'll go through a couple here. One second. So I'm just for random sake of it going to E. See, these are all the games that have images. We'll check a couple more. Jeez. So it's all there. And this is gonna be uh, a sure way to back up your favorites if you haven't because um, I lost, I actually did, lost my favorites file when I um, sent them out. So I didn't really have the effort to go through it again. So um, I found this workaround to um, minimize that time. If you haven't done it already, if you've, if you've already made your favorites list, um, by all means, you, you could disregard this tutorial. Um, uh, one more thing, so like I said, this is for those who have an active marquee. Um, for those who don't um, and want to do a favorites list, you could do it the same way. Um, it's obviously not gonna show any artwork on your end if you don't have a uh, detailed marquee, but um, I love seeing the artwork um, for pretty much every game that I play. Um, it's almost required for me with this thing, so I wanna get it working, but um, that's a quick workaround. Um, I'll try and post more tutorials just because I want to show more uh, more mods on what I did with uh, Active Marquee to get a you know more detailed um, um, artwork showing um, for non-generic. I'll post a new tutorial shortly, but um, see if this works for you. If you have any questions, um, just let me know. And you guys have a good day.